All right, guys. So I watched my recording of Raw from last night, and I'm not going to give a Raw review because Raw was really boring to me. I, I mean, there was there was a few interesting things from Raw, but overall, I mean, the, the three-hour show is just so boring. But the one thing that I wanted that I want to discuss and that I want to take away from Raw is Daniel Bryan vacating the Intercontinental Championship due to injury. I don't know what the injury is exactly. He didn't say in his... Daniel Bryan didn't say what his injury was, but that he had an MRI and that the doctors told him that he, they don't really know when Daniel Bryan will be back to compete in the WWE arena. It could be weeks, months, a year. And so Daniel Bryan had no choice but to vacate his championship just like he... Uh, had no chance or had no choice but to vacate the WWE World Heavyweight Championship last year after he won at, at WrestleMania, and I knew before he gave this promo and before he came out to the ring, I knew something was not going to be good when he was coming out, and I mean I knew he was injured before. I didn't know it was like this serious to this degree. I don't know if it's like shoulder and neck injury like it was from last year, but all I could think though is, man, is Daniel Bryan cannot catch a break. That that poor guy. I mean, last year he won the WWE World Heavyweight Championship from, or he won it at WrestleMania. It was a great moment. It was cool to see. And then, like, not to, and then shortly after that, he had to vacate it due to shoulder and neck surgery and injury. And then it's like almost the same thing. I don't know if it, I don't know if it's the same injury again. Um, if you guys know, let, let me know what what the injury is. But I mean, it's it's the same thing. You know, I mean, he wins the Intercontinental Championship um, at WrestleMania in a ladder match, which I mean, I get. Which I mean, I get it. It's brutal. It's it's a brutal match, and he had some brutal matches after the inter after the ladder match. Um, but again, though, man, I the the poor guy. He just cannot catch a break. I mean, he's won two championships, and then, like, almost, like, the same time, uh, like you said, almost at the same time, like, last year, he has to vacate it again. And, so, yeah, I mean, I just I just, I just, just feel bad for, for Daniel Bryan. Um, and, like I said, I mean, the guy just cannot catch a break. Um, and, I mean, I agree with the WWE, just like I did last year. When he was injured, I get why they had to vacate the championship off of Daniel Bryan because they need a fighting champion. They need one that can be there to f to defend his WWE World Heavyweight Championship on Raw's pay per views. Um, so I mean, I, I get why they stripped the Intercontinental Championship off of Daniel Bryan. I get it, um, but again, it, it just sucks. Um, it sucks for Daniel Bryan. I mean, I know he. He he only deserved to be Intercontinental Championship, he, the Intercontinental Champion, and the WWE Champion. He he deserved those titles, and to see him vacated it again for a second year, just sucks, man. Um, but now I'm kind of interested in who the WWE will have as the new Intercontinental Champion. My two picks, if I was running the WWE right now, and I just did what the WWE did, where I vacated the title off of Daniel Bryan. Here are the two people I, I would pick right now on who could replace him as the Intercontinental Champion. You either have the King of the Ring winner, Bad News Barrett, become the Intercontinental Champion, which I think would help Bad News Barrett. I mean, I mean just the, for the fact that Bad News Barrett is the King of the Ring, he's already a, a legitimate beast. But if you add the Intercontinental Championship to his... Um, I mean, and I know he's been in. I know he's been intercontinental champion before, so I get it. I mean, but I think that would also help out Bad News Barrett. Although I, for one, would like to see Bad News Barrett become a world heavyweight champion instead of an intercontinental champion again. But there's just my. But that's my 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 one person. My second person I would choose if I was running the WWE is Sheamus. You put the intercontinental championship on Sheamus. And then you have Sheamus and Dolph Ziggler feud for the Intercontinental Championship instead of feuding over some stupid kiss my ass match. I mean, really, who the fuck cares about that? I know I don't. So I would much rather see Sheamus and Dolph Ziggler feuding for the Intercontinental Championship. Hopefully, we'll see that now. But again, like I said, I'd either put the title on Bad News Barrett or I'd put it on Sheamus. 
More than likely, I think the WWE will put it on Sheamus because Bad News Barrett doesn't need the Intercontinental Championship, but I just, I just think it would help uh, his repertoire, help his help his uh, spot in WWE right now. But that's just my opinion. But they might give a little Bad News Barrett because Bad News Barrett, if you remember, was supposed to face Daniel Bryan for the Intercontinental Championship, and this was before Daniel Bryan got hurt. But now that Daniel Bryan's hurt, maybe they'll just give it to Bad News Barrett since that he was supposed to have a rematch, but he never got one. We'll just have to see what happens, but those are, those are the two picks I, I would choose. And again, I, I feel bad for Daniel Bryan. I hope he can finally catch a break sometime, man. And I hope he has a speedy recovery from whatever injury he has. Again, if, if you guys know what the injury is, please comment and let me know what it is. But um, yeah, I, I just hope Daniel Bryan has a safe and speedy recovery. And he, I hope he'll be back in the WWE um, in like a, like a few months. But we'll have to see. But again, I uh, just hope he has a speedy recovery. Let me know what you guys think of Daniel Bryan's injury. And who would you put the Intercontinental Championship on now? Like my video. Comment on, comment on my video, guys. Subscribe to my channel. And I'll talk to you guys soon.